Hey, let's take a close look at open graded base. So an alternative to a standard well graded road base is a angular clear crush aggregate. And it has really good compaction values. Uh, the same if not better than standard road base. And I often use a geotech cloth in between our subgrade and sub base layers to keep them separate and to stop gravel from migrating down over time. And let's take a look at the side profile of an open graded base insulation with a three inch perforated pipe as an overflow. This pipe system is not always necessary, but for areas that are going to see a large volume of water, um, it's a good idea to be able to capture a little bit of that water and carry it away from areas in really heavy rainfall events. We definitely want to hit our standard proctor density, and we still will with this gravel, but we're also adding the drainage capabilities that we simply don't even get close to achieving with a well-graded material that's going to have all the particles filling up all the holes that you're going to see shortly are actually going to allow water to flow through. So be aware that the surface material that you choose is going to vary depending on your location as well as the joint material, but you can see how water is quickly going to flow right through this open graded base. You can see right away that the rate in which water will actually flow and percolate through is very fast. And if this base layer is thick enough, it actually becomes a bit of a water reservoir as well. And with the added overflow pipe, um, you have the extra safety there of not overflowing as compared to our standard base prep, which has not a lot of room for water to flow at all. So let's take another look and have a discussion in the comments about the different types of edge restraints we might need and any other specialty aspects that an open graded base may require. Talk to you soon.